Hi, I'm Bill O'Reilly. Thanks for watching us tonight. Nancy Pelosi going to the aid of the grievance industry. That is the subject of this evening's Talking Points memo. Today, the House Democratic Steering and Policy Committee, headed by Mrs. Pelosi, held hearings entitled A Conversation on Race and Justice in America. The problem, there wasn't much diversity in that hearing. In fact, the three panelists, Morris Dees, Eugene Robinson, and Maya Wiley, are all very far-left people who believe America is essentially an unjust country. So the hearing was a farce, a waste of taxpayer money, and a way to stick it to the USA again. The problem with this kind of propaganda is that many people believe it, especially overseas, where they don't understand what the race hustle is all about. A congressional hearing carries some weight. And folks not familiar with the players can take away a wrong impression. That's why the fallout from the Zimmerman verdict is so damaging. The world is forming an impression of America by listening to stuff like this. I think this is, for many Americans, George, just another piece of evidence of the incontrovertible contempt that this nation often shows and displays for black men. They are already suspicious of you because you are walking while black, which apparently is a crime in this country. I think it's possible. If the police had got a black Zimmerman, the question would be whether they would have beat him to death and then threw handcuffs on him and dragged him into the precinct. I didn't sleep for two days, you know, I, I was really, I was really angry about it that, you know, the thing that we all knew, it was still a bit of racism in America, but like, you know, for it to be so blatant. That's right, Jay-Z, America is blatantly racist. That's why you're a multimillionaire hobnobbing with President Obama, because we are a racist society. Good grief. Talking Points is fed up with this kind of misleading rhetoric. I believe the USA is basically a noble nation. We have our flaws, but there's no doubt that Americans are the most humane people on Earth. Just look at what we give to other nations around the world, Haiti included. And our social system gives the most amount of people the best chance to pursue happiness. Otherwise, why would millions of folks be trying to sneak in here? most of them minorities. It is long past time for honest people to call out the racial charlatans and to take exception to false statements. Yesterday, CNN anchor Don Lemon, who believes that African Americans should be proactive in solving their problems, was chastised by Sherry Shepard on The View. I think a lot of people took umbrage with that of, you know, because of Bill O'Reilly, because yeah. I, I don't want to give Bill O'Reilly a license to say anything because he's never been a young black man growing up in the situations that a lot of them grow up in. So if Miss Shepard is honest, if she's honest, then she would have to keep quiet during 75 percent of the topics on The View because she's not a white woman and can't possibly know that experience. How foolish is this? And it gets worse. Listen to Georgetown professor Michael Eric Dyson. Mr. O'Reilly, I'd love to have that conversation about protecting yourself behind white picket fences and Fox mm. News and having digital courage. Come in the streets where you went to Sylvia and were surprised, you were surprised that black people don't throw bananas at each other or swing from trees. Again, Tyson teaches young Americans at Georgetown University. Yesterday's, today's, I should say, today's congressional hearing was a circus. Nancy Pelosi, the ringmaster, didn't mean anything, but it did prop up the race hustlers. And that's a shame. And that's a mess.